Hello everyone, I'm Creed Hardison. And I'm Shiloh Smith. And you're watching South Now. Welcome back to another episode of South Now. Your source for all new information and entertainment on our campus. Today in this episode, we have Carmen Sandoval talking with the cast of Little Mermaid Junior, more specifically the aerials on what's cool on campus. Then we have Maxie Horst with news on the dance team. Shortly after, we have a very special message from an important person in our community. Wait, is it me? What? Am I the important person in our community? No, Creed, it's obviously not you. You can't even get through a simple script. Fine, let's continue. Our final segment, my favorite, but definitely not Shiloh's, is two minute time. Let's go to what's cool on campus. What's up, South Now? We have officially made it halfway through the school year. I'm Carmen Sandoval with What's Cool on Campus, here to talk with our three aerials, Maxie Horse, Betty Buckner, and Callie Hoffer, about this year's production of The Little Mermaid. What was your initial reaction for finding out you got the role you wanted? We all knew that we were going to get the call, because that's how yeah. it always goes. And it had been about like two hours since they started calling people, so I genuinely did not think that I was going to get it. I was like, well, it was fun while it lasted. My phone started ringing, I was like, oh, what's this? And then it said, Miss Francis, and I was like, this is it. And then I answered, I genuinely like started crying and screaming, and <laughs> it was very exciting. Okay, I was at a Halloween party when it happened, and I was like so nervous. I got the call from Miss Francis, and I was like shaking, and I answered, and she said I got the part, and I started crying, and I was so happy. I was just at home watching TV or something, and I'd already known that Maxie and Betty had already gotten it, so I didn't think I was gonna get the part. I thought I was just gonna get ensemble or something. And then I got a call and I broke down in tears. So basically all of y'all cried and y'all were all bit. like just super surprised. Yeah. Very surprised yes. What is the biggest challenge of being in the play? Definitely having to kind of put off your social life, the rehearsing and the memorizing because you would not expect a middle school play to be this like intense. Mm -hmm. You have to memorize and learn so much but it all pays off, and I think that like memorizing lines is probably the hardest thing. A lot of dedication and memorizing everything, lines, dancing, and having to do stuff at the same time. Yeah, it seems like it's like a lot to take in. It's like lots of time and lots of focus. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Especially on the weekends when you already have your plans scheduled and everything, but then you get a call like, hey, can you guys come this Sunday? It's like, oh, well. Other than your part, what role would you think would be fun or interesting to play? I'd have to go with Sebastian because he's really funny and he's got a lot of parts in the play. He gets to be on stage a lot. I would say Ursula because she has a really cool costume and she's really sassy and I'm really sassy. I definitely would have to say Ursula because that would be so cool and different to try from everything else. It would be a lot harder, but I think that it would be really interesting. So y'all would rather be like the evil character, but you'd rather be like the funny, like, yeah. like happy character. I'm Carmen Sandoval with What's Cool on Campus. I can't wait to see everyone at the musical this year. Best of luck to the cast. Back to Creed and Shiloh in the studio. This just made me even more excited for the upcoming production. Definitely, but let's see what's going on with the Prescott South dance team. Hey guys, I'm Maxie Horse. Welcome back to another sports segment. I'm with Coach Ella Grace, and today we talked about how Prescott's dance team is going to national and what that may look like. What exactly are you guys doing to prepare for nationals? So we are practicing three times a week. <clears throat> on Tuesdays, we have workouts. On Thursdays, we have workouts and practice. And then on Sundays, we practice at Stage 1 Dance Studio. So very intense right lot, now. Yeah. yeah, we are about uh, 29 days out. So we're really hitting it hard, trying to get all of our marks, make sure everything's like more than prepared to go. What exactly do you have to do to get a national title? Like, how does that work out? So when we go to nationals, there are about four different categories that you can compete in. Jazz dance, hip hop, palm, and lyrical. So there's five of them. Um, we have decided to do palm and hip hop. Those are our strengths. Um, so we'll be competing in those categories and we will do our routines. We'll do them twice. We'll get scores for each okay. and then they will uh, do a median of those scores. And if we are in the top 
5% of the people that we compete with, then we go on to finals. So speaking about the practices and how hard they are, how are you keeping those girls motivated knowing that they have a national title on the line? We like to show videos of other teams that are like us. The competition that we're going to, Dance Team Union, they do like a series that's like the road to nationals. And um, I like sharing it with them because it shows that like so many teams across the United States are also doing this exact same thing that we're doing. Yeah. And like they're putting in so much time and effort. So we have to put in the same time and effort. Yeah. What do you think the most challenging part of nationals is? The most challenging part is how intense it is. Think about like 500 women being in the same hotel, you know, oh and they're all competing gosh. against each other. Like, it's just... That's giving me anxiety yeah, just right now. Right? It's like, it's so intimidating. And then you have, like, everyone in, like, their team gear and, like, their makeup all done, their hair done. It's you're like, about to go to war. You're about to go to war, literally. You're, like, you're defending your national title, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's very intense. So when exactly are you guys going to nationals? We will be at nationals February 9th through 12th. So it's soon. Like, yes, it's so soon. <laughs> A little scary, but um, we will be at the Hyatt Regency Orlando. Um, we'll be competing Friday and Saturday. So just send us your best wishes. Woo, this is going to be some tough competition, but I know the girls got it in the bag. Thank you for coming out today, and I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. Also, Prescott has golf signups coming soon, so be prepared for that approaching season. I'll see you guys next episode. Max, yeah. The dance team is really impressive. I agree, but next up we have a special message from a special person. Well good morning Prescott, this is Luke Eldridge, I'm your Vice Mayor here in Cookville. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about education and the importance of it. Here in Cookville there are a lot of opportunities if you go on a trade school route. College is great, college is good, but honestly trade schools, um, you can really learn a lot and you can really earn a lot of money with no debt. That's very important. I would encourage you to really talk to your parents about this. There's a lot of money that can be made in a trade school. There is in college, but there's a debt difference there, right? So I would encourage you to stay focused on what it is you want to do and what you want to accomplish and keep your grades in the right area. Don't be in the lows, in the D's and F's. Now, thank God I didn't have many of those. But with education, you need to consider which route you want to go. Are you wanting to go to college? What is it that you need? What is it that you want to do? The other route would be going to a trade school or going to a vocational school. You really need to focus on what's really important, and that is your education. That is knowing the things you need to know. It's, it's the math. It is the, it's the biology. It's the psychology. I have a psychology major. I did go to college, so I'm not knocking college. but you need to really consider what is it that you want to do and what's the best path for you. Thank you for taking this time to listen to me. This is Luke Eldridge, your Vice Mayor, and I want to sign off by saying, Go Bulldogs! Thank you, Vice Mayor, for that message. Education is very important for our future. Definitely. Now let's head to Two Minute Time. Introducing Balloon Bounce. Contestants will try to keep the balloons in the air without stepping outside of the red line or using their hands for as long as possible. Every 15 seconds, we'll add another balloon. Let's see how long they can keep the balloons in the air. Hi, my name is Creed Hardison, and I'm here with... Kimberly Kemmer. Ms. Witcher. Mr. Maddox. Coco McKernan. Ms. Nunn. Garrett Dawson. Gabe Dean. Coach Comer. Kenley Comer starts us off using her head a lot. Kicks it up. Here's Mr. Maddox using his bald head to an advantage. Let's see how well he can do over the course of this. Garrett Dawson. Keep it, keeping it up with his head. Kicks it. Oh, but that's going to touch the ground. That's out for him. Gabe Dean. Close to the line. And he steps out. That's out for him. Mr. Comer also using his head to advantage, but it doesn't work out as well as it does for Mr. Maddox. Coco McKernan getting under it again. Back to Mr. Maddox. Kenley Comer almost stepped out, but she kept it in. And Miss Witcher. Here goes Miss Nunn using her feet smart. Same with Coco. Nearly goes out there. Mr. Maddox with two balloons. Ah, goes out for him, so he's out. Kenley Comer still keeping it up. Balloon almost goes out, but she saves it. Miss Witcher freaking out a little bit. Miss Nunn, oh, she's out too. Coco, 
she's at as well. Congratulations to Kinley Comer with 16.6 seconds, making her the winner of the students, and our overall winner was Mr. Maddox with 20 seconds. Thank you to all of the contestants who participated. Now I'm sending it back to myself and Shiloh in the studio. Congrats to Kinley Comer for winning this episode's Two Minute Time. Yes, she has some talent. I agree, unlike some people I know. No comment. Well, that's all I have for you in this episode. Thank you to the Vice Mayor for agreeing to be in our show and everyone who made an appearance in this episode. I'm Creed Hardison, signing off for myself, my co-anchor Shiloh Smith, your lead reporter Carmen Sandoval, sports reporter Maxie Horst, and everyone here working behind the scenes on today's episode. This is South Now, and we'll, and we'll see, see you, you South, South later. later.